Ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to Subnoxious Sam. Get out of my base! Well, you guys can come in if you're gonna pay rent. Uh, otherwise, stay out. <laughs> this place is so fucking barren. I need to add some more stuff to this later on, but right now, my materials and my resources are going into stuff that is far more prevalent. Plus, I have a fish problem. <laughs> I'm charging up my power cells. I managed to get all the way back. And my sea truck was at 1% power by the time I got back. Uh, but sadly, I missed some dialogue that Alan and Robin were talking about. They were chatting to each other about a storage medium and she was like, Why don't we just put you in a fish then? And he said that his capacity would not be good and blah 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 blah. Either way, they talked about uh, building towards the architect. So he gave me this. Uh, I haven't read it yet. It says, Architect Storage Media. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have settled on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is heavily modified versions of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply, however unique perspectives and traits which arose from the interplay with this original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. So that's what happened to Alan, so that he was put in the storage in the sanctuary. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond rude and any self-respecting architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. So they can just keep putting themselves- so the architect is a body that we're trying to put him into. Um, some sort of mechanical body that can be upgraded and modulated and changed around. But he can technically do it for infinity times, just constantly back himself up. Um, but what did he say here? In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary. So he backed up his data to a sanctuary, but it erased all of his, like, idiosyncrasies and traits. So now he's just a factory reset version. So maybe when we build an architect, he'll get all his traits back. Who knows? Uh, but interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yes, quiet. Uh, my base is going to run out of power trying to power you guys back up. But our next mission is to... Uh, people were talking about a mining site at the Rocket Island. So that lady who jumped down with the prawn suit and was like, Hey! What, what are you doing? Get off my property! And I was like, I don't even know who you are. She apparently is down in the active mining site, or there's some stuff going on down in the active mining site. Um, so I need to go there, which is on the west side of the island. I don't know. I'm waiting for these to fill up. Come on, Philip. You're better than this. All right, whatever. I'm sick of wait. <laughs> I have no patience. I want to explore. Wait, I'm not even taking you over there. Uh, actually, I probably should. Ooh, nice. Actually, one of these can stay in here. I was gonna say I'm not gonna take you because I'm faster getting over to the island without you, but I don't know where I'm actually gonna be going. Um, I'll take this just in case I need it. Uh, I'll get rid of these. And I have cured food. I cured my food last time because I kept running into stuff being shitty. You know? Don't you hate it when that happens? Oh, also my snow fox needs to go away. Um... Let me- wait, let me see. Can I put all you back in there? Shit, ran out of space. Okay, we'll just build a new one then, shall we? I don't know how far, how far deep down, dark deep down this is. Um... They did give me a data chip for, uh... A new depth module. I say it like that because I got nothing out of it. <laughs> so maybe I'm supposed to get more of that. I need to get my scanner thing out and see if there's any rubies and what else did I need for the depth module upgrades? Uh, where are we? 
Just rubies. Plasti lingots are easy and enamel glass is easy. I can do those already. I should actually mark those so I can get the items that I need. Plasti ingot and enamel glass. Alright, I'm going on an adventure. I'm heading through the, the deep ocean. Yeah, it's quiet. It's quite dark down here. That's why I call it the deep down dark deep down. And it, it turned out it was a joke born from my inability to speak. <laughs> most of my fucking jokes are... What's that? Is that a crypto suck ass? The music's so fucking intense over here. It feels like Batman's gonna come and kill me and ask where his parents are. Okay, not anymore. The, the soundtrack has shifted. Quite a bit, yes, yeah, quiet. I don't know why I like doing that voice so much lately. Uh, lithium, I'm gonna need you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that for the plasteel ingot. Uh, let's scan you anyway for a little bit of titanium, why not? I also need one of those outcrops for Liad. God, you're so loud and annoying! This is why mom doesn't fucking love you! <laughs> Remember that vine? It's so fucking good. Also, keep your peepers peopled, people, for poopers and peepers. And I need Ruby. Ooh, this is Alright, let's let's test our limits. Ooh, that music is scary. It's like an angelic siren calling me to the deep down, dark, deep down. But silence, wench! I shall not fall for your trickery and your douchebaggery. I am a scientist. And I'm an animal killer. <laughs> I've killed so many fish. All right, I don't see any cave entrance out here. I don't even ever want to know what want to do. I also don't see, wait, let's get out and Scan for rubies. Uh, I need this boy. Wait, are they even on my thing? Ooh, prawn suit fragments. People pointed out as well that I can't say, Hey, reefies. Every time in this game. Sad. I miss my reefies. The big, deep, gurgling rumbles of their big daddy sacks. I miss it. It was cute. It was fun. Alright, let's just search around. I did say I was gonna do that anyway. There's some weird formations over this side. Oh, this. Oh! Do you feel that? That's your asshole clenching. Yep. The mine sure just did. And my toes curl up and I get the willies. Don't be fooled, it's called the willies, but anyone without a willy can get them as well. It's that feeling down in your, in your regions that just feels like, oh, it's like when you get into a, sorry! When you get to a, a height that you're very uncomfortable with, and it just makes you feel like your ass is gonna come out. Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage. Whoa! Reached. This is a giant jellyfish! Jeepers, creeper peepers. There's a fish in you. That's so awesome. Jesus, that's massive. Whoa. I already knew about you guys. But this is a big one. You guys are puny. You guys need to grow up and go to college. Do something with yourselves. Look at this guy. This is a fucking alpha chat jellyfish. <laughs> He's much bigger than you are! You're gonna kick your ass! You're gonna pull your underwear over your head! But have you seen any rubies though? Ugh. The sounds... The sounds of the ocean can go fuck themselves. Just the sounds though, the ocean itself... The ocean's not doing anything to anybody. In fact, having the giant oceans around is the reason we have lives. But everything in the ocean can go fuck itself. Hard. Like, mega fuck itself. There's nothing around here. There's no items. Oh. 
highly uncomfortable situation that I'm in. I fucking hate it. Do I have any water? No, I don't. Why would I prepare for anything in life? That's what smart people do. Am I a smart people? No. I'm a dumb people. Whoa, you're cool. I haven't seen you before. Let's go out and search. Ooh, also there's fragments of something. Wait, are you like the Killies or the Hey, how's it goingsies? A lily paddler. Uh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> I feel a little woozy here. You guys fucking suck. They just gave me LSD. What's up? I'm a lily paddler. I love to go to raves and give LSD to Let's Players. What's up? Hit me up. What a douche nozzle. I don't know what to do about them. Because I need those fragments. There's fragments right there. Wait, hold up. The finger's going to show up right there. See? Point, 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 point. I need to get those. Yeah, they're doing it already. Stop doing that. Who gave you permission? Um, no, stop it! I hate it! I don't want any of it! Hugs, not drugs! I'm gonna stay pure forever! You know what, just fucking scan- Thermal plant fragment! Ooh! Don't mind if I yesums. That's one of two. And this is two of two. That's quick math! My brain can math harder than anybody's! Rubies! Oh, it's all coming up, Jack! All of you making fun of me all along! Well, we'll see who what for! You guys really haven't been making fun of me. You guys are very nice. Except those people who are like, Jack, hey, you missed this thing. You guys are me. Yes, I miss a lot of things. <laughs> I have ADD, or ADHD, or whatever the fuck you want to say. Because my brain, even as I'm reading things in the game, I'm reading like all this cool information about new stuff, and my brain is like, huh, what should I do later? What should I have for dinner? <laughs> Literally, I'm not even joking, that's not even a meme. Sometimes I hate my brain. I have to like, well, I don't have to, but I like, I like meditating every now and then. Before, especially before recordings, or after recordings or something, because it, it just settles my brain again. My brain is just firing in so many different directions, and a lot of it is just pointless. It's not like I'm thinking about a lot of great things. My brain is just all over the place a lot of times. I'm like, no, stop! Oh, we need to focus! I need to get this shit done! Um, okay. So, how many rubies did I need for that? Two! Okay, we're good. Um, so all I need now is... More lithium. Diamond. I think I might have diamond back at the base. And glass. That's just quartz. And some titanium. Cool. We should be able to build this. So, whenever I do miss stuff, yeah, even I get mad at myself. But then I see a million people commented at the same time and I get all defensive about it. And I shouldn't, because you're right and it is frustrating to watch. But I get also very frustrated at myself. I'm big dumb. What are you gonna do? Some people are just big dumb. But you know what? <laughs> Stop! Fuck off! Stop! Let go! Fuck this! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Fuck it! Hate it! Stop! Anyway, where were we? Okay. <laughs> I felt like Shakira during the Super Bowl. <laughs> My voice is not warmed up yet, okay? This is the first recording of the day. Can we get a like on this video for first recording of the day? Hell yeah, chat. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. A very good mood. Despite these fuckers trying to kill me all the time. Can't bring my mood down, suck ass. I'm in a good headspace. I'm 30 now. It's all clear in front of me. You don't even know. Big plans. 
I feel like I'm acting like a fucking mad scientist. I mean, technically, it's kind of what I am in this game. I'm off out in the ocean alone, avoiding monsters, trying not to die, and building a bunch of shit that I don't know what it's actually going towards. Mad scientist. Also, I'm killing far more fish than any other creature in this ocean. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> don't text and drive. <laughs> it's bad. What's your favorite thing about Subnautica? Because it's, it's one of the bigger things on the channel. And, I mean, I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. Um, but it's not about me. It's about you right now. Because people on this channel really love watching Subnautica. And I'm, I'm just curious what it is about it. Stabilizing. Like, if you could pinpoint down one reason why you like Subnautica so much, what would it be? Who's your... Who do you think is cute in class? <laughs> I also forgot to get lithium. I was all the way over here and everything, and I forgot to get it. Well, it doesn't matter, because Superman's heading out again! Wait. There's just a PDA data right there. I thought it wouldn't follow me to the shallows. I thought even if it did, I could abandon the truck with the treasures I had. As I... As it was, I was looking to escape with my life. But somewhere down there, in the deep, twisty bridges, are the cargo modules I left behind. Somewhere down there are the treasure I will come back for. Damn. Dude, that's deep and I'm not even 14. Uh, lithium? That sounded like the fucking <laughs> vent hole was mad at me. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye! Oh, look at the Misty Mountains! That's cool! I love this game. I love you, Subnautica! You're so cool! Alright, I got my lithium, can make a plasteel ingot. I just need to find some quartz, which should be fairly damn easy to find. See? <laughs> Quartz is everywhere in this game. It is awesome. Do I need any more? I don't know. I can make the plasteel ingot anyway and free up my inventory. Okay, I need one more quartz for the glass. And then we should be done. Quartzy! Oh, quartz quartz! There you are, you beautiful baby. Ah, uh, let's just get some more while we're out, because why not? It's like when you go to the grocery store, and you're like, well, I could get, like, one piece of chicken for tonight's dinner. Or I could get several pieces of chicken for every night's dinner. You know? Or even if you don't eat chicken, you can apply it to anything. You know, that's life. That's crazy. Life is a weird big ball of mystery. And we're all just here in this big giant floating ball, hoping that we don't die. <laughs> Alright, let's build a module upgrade, shall we? Mark 3. I need nickel ore for that. I have I don't even know where that is. I have never even seen that. At least I found the ruby, though. Alright, I didn't even see how far this lets you go. 500 meters. Hell yes! That's awesome! Okay, we're gonna have to prepare a little bit. I have to get some food and stuff. Take out that, put then that. Ooh, this goes deep. Ooh! Ah, we found it! Cool! This must be the mining site then. Oh, awesome! Okay, does this have any stuff here? Oh, so I didn't even need the 500 depth thing. Wait, can this fit in? Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't know about going in there on my own, though, without... Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Fuck it. Whoa! This place is massive! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that goes really deep. I'm scared of that. Cool, though. There's like these rails going in and out. 
Let me just make sure I'm checking this whole area first. Because I kind of want to bump up my oxygen before I go. Hey, a ruby. Hoo -hoo -hoo! New area! I love it! Um, I really wish I could close off this area and like fill it with air. <laughs> Alright, let's get our oxygen back full. Wait, can I really not go in here with this? Let me just try a couple dozen more times. Come on! Come on! Oh god, okay. Let's- let's just- <laughs> Let's just do this, because I- I'm afraid that I'm gonna get it stuck there, and then I'm gonna be really mad at myself. A triops? It's got three little eyeballs! Okay, down we go. Oh, Jesus, this is scary. Oh, Jesus. God, it goes even fucking further? There's a lot of ore- Oh, we have oxygen areas. There's a lot of ore deposits around here, so I'm assuming we get the rest of the prawn suit fragments down here. What is this? Thermal plant fragment again. Okay. Dude, this is cool! Prawn suit! Nice. How many did I need? Four fragments? Yeah. Okay, a lot to go. Gold deposits, titanium deposits, there's a ruby deposit there. Jeez, this place is huge! Huge! I need more oxygen soon, though. Okay, there's two. Copper wire? Copper wire just hanging about. Just don't even give a care. Ah, yes! Last one! Fuck yeah! I wonder what my prawn suit actually fit in here if I build one. Acquired. Alright, I'm going back to get oxygen from this plant. And then we will delve further. Hoping that there's more of those. Otherwise, I'm gonna do a heck and die down here. I'm glad I got that though. That's awesome. Ooh, my oxygen runs out fast. Okay, what is this? What are this? Vehicle upgrade console. Gotcha. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Is this where I die? Am I die down here? Am I do a die? Oh my god, it goes so deep! Headlamp. Okay. Okay, we're dead. We're so dead. Can I even make it back to that plant and then make it from the plant to where I was? Oh god, there's another area! There's too much! My tiny brain! Oxygen. I know. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Now I have to fucking eyeball this. I died! Right there! I was like clicking like mad to try and get it. He died and lost some belongings. I think I just go out to my sea truck anyway, right? Damn! Oh, there's so much going on down there though. I need to be in there. I need to be all up inside of it. Okay, what do we need to build a prawn suit? Because I want to do that then and just go down with that. Uh, prawn boy. Did I pass it already? Wait, what do we need for the architect? Oh yeah. Bunch of shit that I can't make. Uh, I have a computer chip back there and three titanium, so a vehicle upgrade console is going to be very handy uh, for the prawn suit. Uh, don't need this anymore. Oh wait, I'm not. I don't have a pinned prawn suit. Power cell, enamel glass, lead. 
and two plasteel ingots. Okay, I can get those. That's stuff that I can make. I think I'm actually gonna leave the sea truck here. Um, as sort of a, an indicator. Because I can just get back to the surface like this, and then go super fast back to my base. <laughs> it really does feel like flying. It's flying underwater. I knew it was glitched. I knew it was glitched. It kept telling me that there was lithium here. And then if I actually stick my head inside the rock, I can see it inside this. How am I supposed to get that? Wait, let's see if I can see it again. Where exactly was it? Eh! It's right there. What if I get close enough to it, can I actually just grab it? No, it won't let me. 30 seconds. I know, I'm too busy looking at broken things. Alright, got all my parts. So, I need... Three titanium. Wait, that's to make the upgrade console, so how do I... Actually make that? Interior pieces, yes. But where can I put it? Build in the moon pool to upgrade docked vehicles. I don't have a moon pool! That's what I was gonna ask, because the last time you had to build them in the moon pool, but I don't have a moon pool! I'm very upset! Uh, put the battery in there. And you know what? Put, probably, put all of these batteries in there. Should be able to at least make the prawn suit. Assuming I make it here. No! I was on the wrong side of it. You know what? Actually, let's bring you closer to where the actual base is. I think it's been drifting. Tokyo Drift! Alright, what can we build here, bud? A prawn suit? Don't mind if I do! Now, the only problem with this is that I don't have any modifications for it, so I don't have a grapple arm to make it faster or anything like that. It's gonna be so fucking slow. Captain. What's up, Pepper? I can only go to 400 meters! I need upgrades for this! I don't even think that this is useful down there! I didn't check how deep that cavern was. Maybe, maybe it is. Okay, well I guess all we can do is try. Man, this takes me back. Going around in my prawn suit? I spent so much time in this in regular Subnautica. Because the lower, deeper areas, I had to get around using just this. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the ass to get there. I don't even think this is actually going to fit down there. And I have nothing to put the prawn suit in. Like, uh, oh, oh, docking module? Would that do it? Of course, docking module would be something for other than docking just Rear only sea truck docking module allows you to take your prawn suit along for the ride. Damn, I need to get more stuff for that then. Shit! And I need to bring the sea truck back. Fuck! I didn't realize that. Uh, let's do that then, because this is going to be such a pain in my ass to bring all the way. Okay, titanium ingot made. Plasteel ingot made. Docking module soon to be made. Uh, not in there. On this bad boy. Nasty weather I'm having, boys. God, it looks cool though. Uh, docking module, yes. How the hell is my prawn suit gonna fit in that? Oh! That's why it's got little arms on it! Wait, how does it grab the prawn suit? Does it grab it from the... Weird! Hold on. Does that have to be on the back then, I wonder? This is a curious little one. 
Um, hold on. Expert driver coming in. There we go. We are attaché. Okay. It's sideways. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I have no idea how it works. Oh, it's so cute! It just sits on the back and gets a little ride! It gets a little piggyback! That's fucking adorable! Yes! I love that. That's so cute. Okay, well I'm gonna take my little boys on an adventure then. We're heading back to that, uh, cave. Back to the mining area. I honestly don't think that this is going to fit in it either. Oh shit, I only have 21 power. Wait, hold on. I think I can actually get a power cell back here. Uh, let's... Eh! Which one's... Oh wait, I only have one power cell in it. Oh, doy! Hold on, boys! Sorry, a bit of a, a bit of a delay. Sorry, I didn't realize that you were hungry. Gotta feed me bites. Okay. How much do we have now? 61. That's what you love to see. Is this the hole? I don't know. Yeah, cool. All right, hold on. Stop, stop, slow. Slower. Oh, okay. All right, back at the entrance. Cool. Wait, can I get into my prawn suit from here? That would be kind of cool. It makes sense that you can't though, because it's an awkward positioning. Please tell me you fit. Yes! <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, that's why there's the little platforms in here. So you can like jump up to these to get your prawn suit. All right. That makes a lot of sense. I'm probably gonna get stranded down here. Yeah, baby, we're back! Me and Pepper! Back in action! Yes! This is so cool! What does this say? Okay, let's read it in our prompt. Uh, was unexplained ion signature linked to the Aurora's disappearance? And the Aurora was the ship from the first one. An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera space has scientists baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora's reported crash landing. How the two might be connected is an open question, and many in the scientific community maintain they are unrelated and unexplained by natural phenomena, or even Altera secretly testing new technologies. Fuel has been added to the fire by Altera's refusal to release its full data on the Aurora accident and recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their list of unexpected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. It has now been months since the Sunbeam went quiet. With no new information, the salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546B. That's kind of cool. Hey, Rock Puncher, you want to punch? You wanna go? <laughs> okay, I'm very sorry, bye. Interesting that the people back on Earth don't know what happened to the Aurora, really. There's still a sh there's still a pathway back there that I didn't take. It'd be so annoying if they're actually if this is actually the bottom of it. This is actually the bottom of it, isn't it? Oh man, I wish all this stuff still worked. That'd be awesome. People all down here in the prawn suits just kicking it. There's so many resources down here though, whenever I get the arm fragments. Wait, I saw an arm fragment over here. Didn't I? Yeah. Drill arm fragment. That's what we need. 
Okay, I need two. Okay, I can scan that anymore. All right, good start. Feels good to be exploring again. Really deep down. Well, not really deep down. I mean, compared to Subnautica 1, this is baby depth. I think that might all there is to be here. <laughs> all this effort to go build the prawn suit just so I could come all the way back in. I mean, it was still worth it. But it just felt like there was going to be more, that it was going to keep going deeper. All right, let's try out the path back here to the right. On the way back out, and maybe that has something. So the prawn suits would come up and put their loads in this, and then it would carry it all the way back. That's cool. Man, people are really, like, active on this planet now. Yeah, there's the next one. Whoa, where does this go? Ooh, where does this go, Cisco? At least when I get the... When I put the arm on it, I can come back here then and... Really start... What the fuck? It's an alien! Whoa! It's a statue! I mean, duh! But does that mean that it's kind of made in their likeness? That's awesome! They're really creepy! But also, very cool. I think that's all that was in here. And the drill suit arm fragment. Fuck yeah. Nice! Definitely worth it to come down here. Wait, does that mean that prawn suit lady was not down here? I thought since you needed like a prawn suit to get down further, she was going to have a secret base somewhere here. Let me get all these rubies. At least now I know it's here. I can just come back whenever. Thank you. I was gone for two seconds, but it's it's nice to be appreciated. So many other PDAs and stuff that I missed. Also, there was another plant for oxygen down there that I completely missed. Ooh, yes. Aurora wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from the trade ship Sunbeam, which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Hey Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took static survivors. We're moving in for a closer look. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the true state of the ship, it is now known that the that she has landed with their hole largely intact on planet 4546b. Smaller than Earth and larger, largely water-bound, it is thought that planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. The Sunbeam is registered as a five-seater cargo vessel, insufficient to evacuate the, car the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment is secure. There is at least a one-month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket which could be constructed using materials salvaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home, now the rescue teams could meet them halfway, shaving months off their return. Altera's share prices rose and they're quarterly high in the news. Damn, that's cool. Ties into everything that we were doing on the planet. I love that. A little bit of extra story. Um, is that all I can do down here for now? Seems to be. Oh, 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 oh. Can I land on this? Yeah, buddy. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, I'm going to be coming back here. Maybe I should leave the prawn suit here as like an indicator for where it is. I don't really need the prawn suit for anything else, and it can only go to 400 meters. My sea truck can now go deeper than it. And until I find a moon pool, yeah. 
It's kind of useless. Ah, home sweet home, back where I belong. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I don't really know where we're going next. What What's next on our areas? We... The glacial basin there. I think lily pads, if there's something over there, like in this region. I haven't taken my sea truck over there any deeper. We saw like the big jellyfish and everything, but we couldn't even go that much further with the other sea truck upgrade. So maybe... What do I need for the upgrade mark three? Uh... Let me see. Uh, mark three. Um... Nickel ore. But other than that, I don't know what's next. Can we build the architect yet in the game? Because that feels like endgame. That feels like rocket ship from the last one. Sort of stuff. So maybe it's not in the game yet, but that would be our next goal. It's still our, like our continuous goal right now is to get to that. Um, the stuff I did now got me the prawn suit, but that didn't really progress any of my missions. So to speak. So we're gonna have to figure out what we do next after that. But I'll read up a little without trying to spoil too much. Because I, I need some sort of like... Right now, there's not enough in the game to let you get there organically. Because there's no story stuff. No one's telling me where to go. And there's no PDA data and stuff like that telling me what's going on. So I need to figure that out uh, some other way. So I'll try and figure that out for next time. But until then, I will see you all and bid you farewell. <laughs>